Calculating angles on a straight line. A grade F G GCSE question, level three for national curriculum. Okay, so this is the sort of typical question we have now on angles where we have to work out the value, which we've always been able to do, and then we have to give the reason for your answer. So you have to state the rule you're using. Be careful, diagrams are not drawn accurately, so you can't just measure it with a protractor. So um, work out the angle, so x plus 37, because it's a straight line, um, that's half a circle, so that's 180 degrees. So x is going to be 180 minus 37, oops, 37. Okay, so if I just do 80 take away 37, uh, 80 take away 40 is 140, and I need to add 3 back because I'm only taking away 37, so it's 143. Um, you are allowed to use a calculator for this, so do check it on your calculator if, you, if you've got one available, and uh, hopefully you won't get it wrong. Give me a reason for your answers. Angles on a straight line. Add up to 180 degrees. Okay, there's quite a few of these basic rules. Some of them is you, you could have the rule about angles around a point. So angles around a point add to 360. You could have the rule where two lines cross. Okay, and the key keyword there is opposite angles. Opposite angles are equal. These two are equal and those two are equal. Um, we could have the one about angles in a triangle, which most people know at this level. Angles in a triangle add up to 180. Opposite are equal. These add to 360. And they're the basic set of rules that we should know at this sort of level.